Hey, my friends, uh, this is Evangelist Anita Fuentes with an Open Your Eyes People quick news update. Hawaii. I just got this headline that came in a few hours ago. Hawaii panel has asked uh, the state lawmakers to prepare for a North Korea attack. What is this all about? In a Senate concurrent resolution that just uh, has been proposed as of last Thursday but was made public Earlier today, they are requesting the state to modernize its disaster preparedness plans. It says the following, uh, Hawaii faces increased risk from natural and man-made disasters, mainly because of, of environmental climate changes and geopolitical conflicts. And nuclear arms experts recently said that North Korea already has or may soon have the ability to target Hawaii with a nuclear-tipped intercontinental ballistic missile with possibly the same destructive force as a 15 kiloton and 20 kiloton bombs dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, respectively, according to a Honolulu Star Advertiser article. And the legislator finds that airborne electromagnetic pulses, which are EMPs, radiating from a nuclear disaster may have a radius of approximately 1,500 miles and could adversely affect the operation of electronic devices uh, statewide, rendering many of these devices unstable. And President Donald Trump has warned that the United States may take unilateral action against North Korea unless China does more to help the U.S. reign in North Korea's nuclear program. Uh, it, it goes on uh, for more. It, it says here, in addition, if a natural man-made disaster were to strike Hawaii's cargo shipping harbors, the state would suffer great hardship since most of the state's food and other supplies arrive by ship. Uh, and it goes on uh, to say, there's so much. It's, it, it's, it's four pages here, folks. It's four pages. It says here, be it resolved by the Senate of the 29th Legislature of the State of Hawaii, regular session of 2017, the House of Representatives concurring that the Department of Defense, with assistance from relevant stakeholders, is requested to modernize its disaster preparedness plans. And be it further resolved that the state is requesting to update its fallout shelter plans in case of a nuclear disaster by, one, identifying the locations of usable fallout shelters, two, upgrading outdated fallout shelters, and three, updating fallout signage, uh, signage and markings, restocking fallout shelter provisions, and conducting public awareness campaigns to ready the public for a nuclear disaster. What is that all about? Folks, um, listen, this just came out on Hawaii's News Now. It's on Fox News, on Breitbart.com. It's, it's, it's all over the, the web. It's on mainstream media, alternative media. Again, Hawaii lawmakers want state officials to update plans for coping with a nuclear attack as North Korea develops nuclear weapons and ballistic missiles that can reach the islands. Now, listen, folks, especially my friends in Hawaii, it says here Committee Vice Chairman Matt Lopresti says he is not... I repeat, he is not trying to spread fear, but he wants the public to know the government is taking steps to protect them in the worst case scenario. So please, whatever you do, folks, especially my friends in Hawaii, don't take this as fear mongering. Don't say how dare uh, the committee vice chairman, how dare the lawmakers, uh, you know, announce this and, 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 and try to inflict some kind of panic or fear on the people. No, this is the reality of the situation. North Korea continues to threaten to launch nuclear tests in the coming weeks, months, and they claim years. But the point is, is that Russia, Russia and China naval vessels are now headed towards the Korean Peninsula. Uh, you, we have right now the USS Carl Vincent in the Korean Peninsula. Uh, North Korea uh, continues to threaten nuclear war at any time, quote, and Trump, Donald Trump has now stated that he has no choice. He justifies U.S. strikes on Syria, on Afghanistan. Possible preemptive strikes still remains in the balance when it comes to North Korea. And he says it's all justified. The buildup, the military buildup and the posturing is all justified. Just give your lives to Christ. Stop playing games. Folks, we know we're living in the last days. We know this is a sign of the times. The Bible makes it clear. Wars and rumors of wars. And, it's still, and it says that there is a distress of nations with perplexity. The nations are perplexed. Are, are you even saved? Please get saved. Give your lives to Christ. Get your hearts right with God. The day of the Lord is at hand. Just call on the name of Jesus Christ and he'll save you. The Bible says that the sun will be turned into darkness. And it, and it has 
the moon will be turned into blood and it has remember the the, the blood the 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 four blood tetrad the moons the the the, the blood moons folks it says those things will take place before the coming of the great and terrible day of the lord but check this out there's a promise it says who it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the lord shall be saved call on his name and you'll be saved in jesus name be sure to uh, visit our website for more information, www.openyoureyespeople.com. Tune into our broadcast. We have live. We just got done with the live broadcast Mondays, 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. And um, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, subscribe to our YouTube channel for more uh, Open Your Eyes People breaking news updates. God bless you. The day of the Lord is at hand. Get saved in Jesus' name.